Hello again guys and welcome to another video on how to draw gold or dirty gold. Now I'm calling it dirty gold because in case you haven't noticed I'm drawing the judge and I would say that the gold emblem in his helmet would be more dirty than bright gold and I've had a bit of trouble drawing it to find the right colours out of the different light fasts but I thought as I was doing it, the, it would make quite a good tutorial. And it says once you get used to it, it is a lot easier than you think it is. Um, it's you basically be using two different yellows. One would be a banana. Don't ask me what the crazy names have come up. I don't get why they can't just you know <laughs> come up with like different ochre names or something. But you got yellow, banana. The uh, dark honey, which is the main component of the gold, which you can kind of see in here. Um, a raisin, which is more of a burgundy colour. And a dark orange, which goes really well with the dark honey as a match. So I don't know what they would be in polychromos, for example, but if you look at the colours, maybe you can. Maybe you can match them. That's basically a, a really bright yellow. The brightest one I've got. I can show you the difference between a. You know that one. Where is it? Oh, yeah, okay. That's a yellow ochre, which is probably going to be the same as a polychroma. And that's the banana, so. You want like the brightest yellow. Well, I've been using on yellow ochre for this, so I won't be using it for the rest of it, and hopefully it should go okay and I won't embarrass myself. So, let me start. Basically, I thought it would be better showing you like this because I've seen a lot of videos where, you know, they draw a bunch of circles and show you how to draw a sphere in gold and stuff, and, but the problem is if you're doing a piece of artwork, there's like contours and different shapes and you have to know how to draw it around that and create the right value, so Obviously, you can tell I've filled in all this just to get used to the kind of golden ones here. And on this side, it's reflecting. Like, I'll tell you about where basically it's dread. It's like the Carl Urban base, except I've changed the shoulder pads, and in the background, I've added like fireballs, and that's where kind of like this reflection is coming from. Um, and it's very like red and yellow theme so basically up in the scar here you've got five balls here and kind of here and it's so the reflection changed on it to more of a ready reflection kind of like how it's reflected in the side of the helmet and here in his visor that's why even though this is red it's reflecting a really harsh yellow because it's reflecting like five balls and stuff so I've left this strip here, which is going to be the same as this, because that isn't really the dirty gold side of things, it's more here, so. And on this strip there's a there's a shape, so I'm going to draw the shape out for where the banana pencil's going to go, so it's more like here. And I doubt the camera's picking it up, but it should do when I start colouring it in. And the bottom half of it is basically white, so. So we're just going to shade that bit in. And I'm using two different yellows to kind of transition to that dark orange. And as you can tell from like here and up here that it goes quite bright when you start putting the darker colours around it. You know, the same as I explained when you do an eyeball, you know, the white of the eye is actually a grey colour when you start adding dark colours, it looks like your mind kind of fills in the blanks and just says, oh, it looked white, but it isn't. Like that, that is that colour there is the same as that, but it looks, looks white, but it's not. So, I'm not saying leave parts white, just leave them white for now, just in case. You won't keep them white, but if you don't want to, you just go over the banana later on. 
Just sounds daft me saying I'd go over with a banana later on. I just like maybe I have to go over with uh, you know, half yellow, half fluorescent yellow, or whatever. Now I'm using a yellow, but I'm just I'm going next to it and kind of pushing into it a bit. You create that little transition. But I want to keep that banana going up there. Sounds so lame that does. It doesn't take much. I say it's got these kind of patterns here, well, like he's been grazed by bullets or something. So you can kind of cut them in there. I'm only doing it to show myself where you know, these shapes are. It's got like a grey going up there but it won't be this yellow colour. It'll be the dark orange colour so something like that. And then I'm going to switch to the, the dark honey, which is probably the best colour for gold. Um, a lot faster you have a gold, an actual colour called gold, but I think for this particular drawing it didn't really work. I can't remember. I don't Don't use it. Yeah, put it up here. Let's have a look. Mm, not bad. I think I'll put it on, on down here, I don't like it. Yeah, I'm gonna get a darker one, but if you were drawing lighter, not dirty gold, then that would be a good colour. You should see the difference in this. This is like a. Well, it looks gold, but it's not gold. See gold, it's not a colour, it's just it's a bunch of different colours within it. That's why it can be quite tricky to draw. Or if you figure it out it might not be the right shade. See it already looks quite gold. Just try and keep them shapes. Right, I'm going to colour the whole thing in this and keep it light because you don't want max out the two for the paper. Which, by the way, this is the first time I'm using Bristol board with these. Don't like fast than to be honest with you. I'd rather use watercolor paper. I think these are too soft. They can't just max out the two for the paper too quickly with the Bristol board. But I am using cheaper Bristol board because I can't get my hands on strap more. So it's everywhere's run out. Don't have the colour of them lines because they're going to be dark anyway. Now I'm going to use the dark orange. This is going to be it's all about layering like everything else. I'll be switching back to the, the dark honey, back to the dark orange, then back to the yellow. Uh, the raisin and, oh I didn't mention actually, Mars black, which you know is my favourite colour. That will come last as well. But then you'll see me go back in with the dark honey again. Kind of blend it all out. I've also added a bit of red. You might, you might even see me use a rubber as well to create some kind of scratchy effect. We'll see when we get there. 
so I'm going to put them shapes back in and you just won't go where you see the orange within the gold well like I said it depends what you're drawing from your reference might not have any orange in it so our gold is quite a hard color to draw well it took me a few hours to get the right complexion with it something I was happy with anyway and it's this will cut down the edges as well because you can imagine that this like four strips. You can see already as a wrap around that the that banana colour. Just don't feel right me saying banana all the time. So anyway. As I'm wrapping around with the banana colour, you can see it's getting brighter even though it's not. Make your darks, make your lights. You go up here, keep it light because it's going to be dark like that up here, so I don't want to max out the tooth. As I have done for this entire portrait, max out the tooth. You can probably see it in here somewhere. I'll have to check the video when I'm done, but there might be a bit of a sheen as I'm like basically rubbing wax into wax. But I can fix it when it's done by varnishing it, so I'm not too fussed. But in terms of what like, doing a tutorial video, it might look like I'm doing a rubbish job. down the edges again it is pretty simple to do once you get your colors right you know you might want to try on a piece of scrap paper because because these colors are so soft they blend on the paper and you can come up with different colors so as I'm pointing this over the top it's not really dark orange it's blending with that dark honey underneath and then I'm going to use the raisin now which is that burgundy colour I don't know if it's more of a ready burgundy or a brownie burgundy start from the top no, I'm not pushing very hard again and I've still got to add Mars Black, so and the Mars Black will darken all the colours. Seems to be most of the lights on this side, so. a bit harder down that side and you're simply trying to blend it into that dark orange but don't go all the way because you still need that orange in there to make it work you know you're trying to make a transition For them little grazes again. The 
There's no wire to core up at the top end, so it doesn't really matter. It's all personal preference if you want that in. Don't worry if your little grazes have disappeared because I've decided I'm going to take the rubber and knock them out. I think it'll do better, look a bit smoother. I think that's what I did here, I just forgot what I did. Well, the good thing is about colouring crayon is that when you rub off the top layer, you're left with the cord underneath. So you imagine I put that banana underneath and then I went to put all the red and the uh, what was it called? The raisin colour. And then I rubbed it off and then down to the, the banana colour underneath and that's how you get that. But I'll show you that at the end when I'm finished. Come on this side a bit. I don't know where my voice goes when I start doing tutorials you know, you know you can leave a comment if you think I sound cool or if you think I need to have a really long drink I'm back with the dark orange now I'm just gonna come away from this edge and push into that banana a bit more You know, if you notice as well, there's no screaming child outside my house today. So I've picked a, a good day to do this. And try and finish before he comes out. As you can see now, it's starting to blend. It's starting to get a nice gold colour. pushing into that banana colour again and it's you, you want the transition you can see the transition Okay, so it's Mars Black Time, which you know is my favourite colour, but because I'm on Bristol, it might max out me too, so you have to be like, so I'll explain, if I was on watercolour paint, it wouldn't bother me, I'd just keep going, but I'm going to go light, and then go back in with the dark orange and the raisin, and build it up. I think I'm just a heavy handed artist when it comes to colour. I like to get all the pigment on the paper. So I'm just staying light again. You can see even going light, you get quite a lot. This can go completely black, this can. Break into that edge of it. I'm 
and it kind of blends off into that little crack in between the shards. So you can just basically almost completely blacken that edge. You still want the edge there, but you want it to blend out. same thing you're just coming down this side this is the darker side you just want to push in and you just want to push in then three places that so You know, so I'm still not trying to be neat, I'm still just blocking stuff in. Smooth it all out in a minute. Oh yeah, I won't keep this here so I don't want to push too much into that. Just a little bit. You don't need to come down this side too much because it's actually, that colour is kind of perfect there. So just up here we need to darken off. So I'll go over it again. Try my best not like destroy the two for this because I can see it going there. So it's just I used Bristol, and within about five minutes, I was like, Oh, why did we use this? But I already did this part, and I thought quite a lot. Of, so I didn't want to do it again, so I just carried on. I thought maybe it's just my technique, it is my technique, but. I still haven't found the right paper for myself. Now I'm going to go back to the dark orange and do a bit of blending out. To the reason again. This is what it's like, it's just constantly back and forth with your colours and you blend because like the Mars black above the top, I don't want it to go black. You, know, you want you, they blend together and you get like a darker version of what you've been laying down because that Mars black blends with what you're laying on top of it. It's almost going like a burgundy red. You kind of see it in there then it matches to the rest of it. Just 
Gorilla Agitamaha. Huh? Uh, not that edge off the bear as well. And then come back in with the gold hoodie now to try and knock that red back so I can get it more of a golden colour. You see how it looks more like that now? It's basically blending with the Mars black underneath to create a darker version of itself. And that kind of pushes down there a little bit. You can see how bright that's gone. And it wasn't that bright before. It's just the darker colours around it make it brighter. We had a bit more Mars black at the top of it. This is what it's like. I don't know if it's just the way I draw things, but it's like back and forth between your colours. I mean, as long as your method works, it doesn't really matter as long as you get the end result. But this is our work and everything colour, charcoal. Constantly back and forth. I'll chalk all and rubbing it out, putting it back in, rubbing it out until I get it right. Just get rid of that. I'll try and bring them grazes back in. I'm going to use a rubber, a Tombow Mono 100 pencil rubber. I'm sure you've seen them. I don't know why I was doing that, I don't think it was on the camera. <laughs> um, it's one of the best pencil rubbers you can buy. Really thin, really nice. Rub anything out, rubs all this out. I just want to put some lines in and you'll see. Look at that, oh, it's, it's took it off, but the colour is still there underneath. So, you, know, you can get a nice, really nice highlight. And I don't even touch it that much. So, push that like that. And you've got your grazes back, these kind of cut in like this a bit. can make some of the edges a bit brighter like that. You know, if you push even harder it'll bring the banana back because we coated that well we didn't go all the way up but a little bit we coated it in banana didn't we just doesn't sound right saying banana I was just using rubber. It's a bit brighter on this edge, a bit fatter.
Yeah, that's fine. Good thing is as well, if you use this and you can go to an area of white, like down here, because I won't push this back, just rip the end off because what's on the end of the rubber will basically spread all over your white and you'll hit yourself. So I won't knock that back a bit. And bring more of this white in, that's why I said my brush. That's why I said leave it white because now I'm looking at it, I want to keep the white and kind of push this banana out a bit, making it lighter. I'm not pushing hard at all, it's really light. I'm just going over the top and it's like blending it together. So yeah, what we're going to do now is I'm going to brighten these little grazes up with, where is it, ah. right, I'm going to add an additional pencil, and this is cherry red, because everything's red theme, some of it has got some red in the gold, so it's cherry red, which is basically like a dark violety red, and I've used it everywhere. Obviously it's red, as you can see, but like in this part especially there's red, there's cherry red, derwent red, and then I've got, coming down here I've got some nightshade in there, see what I mean about the colours, like I'm saying nightshade like you can know what it is, like nightshade like a, which is like a, a bluey purple, really nice colour, and up here I've got strawberry which is an orangey red. So that all went really nice because then I had something else which is called Flame which is a really bright orange which is all in here. Going again into the banana and into white. So I'm trying to use similar colours for the entire thing and then it will, everything will sit together better. I'm not going to do much, I'm just going to kind of define them a little bit. even push in to that dark orange might make it look a bit more powerful just need to be careful because I can feel the tooth starting to go Don't know if the camera's picking it up. Oh, look. It's not too bad, you can't just see too much machine. I shouldn't have used Bristol, to be honest with you, but. But, you know, like I said, I did this part and I thought that looks good, I won't carry on. But you, know, you might be right with Bristol, I personally don't like using coloured pencil on it at all. Charcoal, I'm great with Bristol, I love it. I need more tooth, I'm a tooth guy.
Okay, I think we're getting there, getting close, getting close to finishing. Just gonna add a little bit more Mars block. Hmm. Feel the tooth going on this side, I'm just trying to like. Some Mars black over the top. Um, just to accentuate everything a bit more. But if we're coming with the black now, just straight black, as you can see, it's pretty much dead. There's like nothing left. And then just bring that back up. Connect them together, I'm just going to add the black at the top. Well, the tooth is pretty much dead at the top of there now, so I don't want to use that black. You see it going there, where it just I'm basically wax on wax, that's all it is. Like I said, I can fix it at the end, I'll just varnish the whole thing and it won't disappear. One coat of matte, two coats of satin, fine. i never ever use Bristol board again. We'll do it quite fast. Well, other than that, I'm loving the day at first. I'm sure it's just my technique of the way I, you know, I draw things, but I do think the polychromos are a bit hard to pencil. These are really soft. And like, I have used a black prisma and a black polychrome on this. Oh, and a pink one. And they seem to. They work a lot better on Bristol, so it probably is just pencils and the way I do things. But well, I'm going to call that a day for this tutorial. Um, I hope it helped. If it did, leave a comment. You know, you've got any tutorial suggestions? Like I had one the other day, so I'll be doing one next about um, drawing wrinkles with graphite pencils. So I will do that next. You'll get this as a time lapse as well. Oh, and if um, you're wondering what size set of pencils I'm using with these light fast, I'm using the 100 set, the full set. So if I'm using colours you haven't got and you're 36, no, I'm sorry about that. You can buy them individually quite cheap. So you know this, this I will list. So I'll list the colours I've used in the description. So if you haven't got the colour. Yeah, you can just go in buy it individually so you can try it off yourself. So yeah. Thank you very much for watching and you know. See you again.